Highway 50. Villain Clan, hey, uh, uh. How she know me anyway? How she know me? I got souls, I got woes when I ride. Yo, we're listening to the sounds of Pork Afro and aka PTBM, and this is the 091 show. And today, I have a good friend of mine back in the place. Dirty Dick Dan. Fucking, uh, yeah, I'm back around. You're going to change your stage name, yeah? Yeah, Dirty Dick Dan. It's, it's just, it's a more name. The name is more true to me. You know is what I mean? It? Yeah, yeah. Oh, would you like to <coughs> elaborate on that dirtiness? I dick them dirty and I dick them down. <laughs> <laughs> At least they're after a good start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> right, so let's address uh let's address the recent happenings. The recent happenings. <clears throat> yes, yes. Uh, we have a have our good friend Pat Flynn. Well, I'll do the intro to this, right? Ooh. So Jordan came down the other day and we had a chat. And Jordan just happened to say but the kids don't care about Pat no more. The kids don't care about Pat no more. You, so you clearly don't repent of saying it. Well, no, what do you mean? Like, what kind of question is that? Okay. <laughs> and you did get a fair reaction on Facebook. Facebook went crazy for an hour or two. Yeah, Instagram as well. Instagram as well, yeah. actually. That's very true. Me and DJ Green had a few of his goons after us. <laughs> <laughs> you dragged DJ Green into the war as well. I mean, he was—he just jumped in, like you know what I mean. Like I didn't even know that Pat put it up on Instagram until yeah. he like sent it over to me. He was like, "Fucking DJ Green was just sending me all the screenshots and all laughing about it." Oh, <laughs> <I was> stop! <clears throat> yeah, I had a few of his goons afterwards. Anyways, it was some like twelve-year-old fella texting me and all. Texting and did you, did you speak to Pat yourself? Uh, slightly. We had like a few like texts between each other. Yeah, he tried to call me. What like I was drinking, he was drinking. Tried to call me at like five in the morning or something. I'm yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah, I text him back. I was like, do you want to call? Give me a call whenever you want. Like, I'm on my ball night. Yeah. Fucking, uh, yeah, he texted me back and he was all oh, just wondering, like, just wondering what your problem is with me and shit like that. And then I told him. He told him what? <laughs> <laughs> I told him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just told him what I don't like about it. I don't know if, I don't know if he's even opened the message. Like, he, uh, like, straight after that message, though, he did put up all the shit on Facebook and all. Just told yeah. him, like, you know what I mean? I don't like the way he raps. don't like his music at all. Fucking, uh, he inspires all the kids to, you know, go for this really, really simple style of hip-hop that's fucking brainless. And, you know what I mean? They're not trying to do anything artistic with themselves instead of saying, be the bad boy on the mic one time. And uh, if he went over a boom bap beat and done something with his music, that maybe he'd be able to spread a bit more of a thing. Yeah. That's why I don't like him. That's that's fair enough, like, when you express the opinion like that. I mean... Yeah, of course, but when you express your opinion, it's not that interesting. <laughs> People don't care uh, that when he messes. Nah, I funny. get that. I get that. But it's, it's nice to hear the um, the actual logic behind yeah, it yeah. instead of just fuck Pat Flynn. And I, to be honest, I wonder, like... Why is there such a disdain for MCs? I hear the argument about it's not um, as kind of... It's almost like you're saying that it doesn't have nuance or or like skill or anything behind it, but I, mm. I'm not sure I fully agree with that. Ah, it's, it's it's maybe maybe not with all MCs. I've definitely listened to an MC or two that's been sick. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and, you know, they have that MC flow, but they're trying to multi-syllables and all that. There was a Paflin disc that I heard that was actually sick as fuck and it was MC. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then that's not just because it was a Paflin disc. If it wasn't, I would still like it. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like, you know what I mean? Like the thing about Pa is that it's like, it's, <clears throat> it's now trying to say that he's a rapper and all, and all this shit. And like, you know what I mean? Come on, pal, you're rapping over an Ed Sheeran beat. It's the same BPM and it's the same flow that you had in the last song. Yeah. You know what I mean? That doesn't make you a rapper, bud. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I mean, I can't wait for him to come in and hit his side of the story because everybody else who doesn't, who's kind of against him has been very vocal, to be fair. Hey man, like I could definitely see myself and him having a conversation. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. If I got on the phone to him and spoke to him, I would do it. Like I wouldn't sit there and just be an arsehole to him. But That's like, true. Fucking, like you know what I mean? I talk to him, but tell him what what my problems are. Yeah. Uh, fucking, you know what I mean? Like the only reason I've been throwing shots is because I want to hear the fella rap over a boom bap beat. Yeah. 
I mean, I, I just feel personally that like when we was young, we all loved Pat Flynn. We all wanted to be Pat Flynn. Then he went away for a while. I forgot. And it seems that you didn't not even not even like at the height of it I released my first song when I was fucking 12 man I hated him from the start <laughs> that's that's fair enough that's you know fair I mean? enough yeah look I suppose like I can't say I hated him personally because I've never met the cunt so I don't know yeah. what the fuck you do pa but uh fuck it <laughs> <laughs> you're sick you're but, uh, sick Jordan <laughs> but uh yeah either or either like fucking that uh, like if, if if he jumps on a boom bap beat and does his thing I'll respect him like you know what I mean yeah. What's going on there? I can't hear myself as well as I did. What was I being too loud, was it? I don't know. Listen. Oh, all right. Listen. <laughs> okay, then, Parik. <laughs> we just... Like, <laughs> the professional order of things today has just broken down. This is as real as it gets. Like, <laughs> I swear, this is as real as it gets. I'm trying my. I'm, I'm trying to be my journalist. I'm trying to control this situation. I'm trying to like do this. It's not working, bro. Hey, look, I'm, I'm like you're too strong of a character. That's the problem. When Jordan Wilson starts to talk, he is shit. You listen. That's it. You listen, motherfucker. But look, we'll move on, anyways, because like I have, you know, there's nothing more for me to say. Like I've already said it. Yeah, I, I think I think we're just gonna like bury the hatchet with that one yeah yeah yeah. for a you little while I mean? see what happens I've made a fair enough point you know what I mean you have no fair play to you like that's a fair point you know? if you can rap over a boom bap beat and impress me I'll fucking uh... I only miss Kimball in the corner yeah but... <laughs> no but I uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jordan no Jordan <laughs> yeah, no it's just the only Irish thing <laughs> the only Irish thing that ever was actually truly from the country we only found out the last day <laughs> Kimball <laughs> No, we have to put it the Jordan. last day. It's actually from England, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Jordan! Jordan! <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> the last interview will understand yeah check that last listen time. listen listen please <laughs> oh god <laughs> to the fans of the online one show and the real viewers or anybody that's kind of stumbled across this and would like to um get to more involved in this i would like you to go and watch episode two of the online one show which is Jordan Wilson. It's episode one, no? Or two? No, or Conor two. McMorrow is number one, I'm sorry, bro. Oh, shit. Two, KDX Fuck is Fuck you, three. DJ Green. King Train is four. King Train. Number Did five is KK. Name? Did you ever ask King Train about that name? Did you ever ask him where he got that name? I didn't, you know. Man, fucking, uh, there was this old graffiti game called Mark Echo Getting Up. Okay. And, like, the, the graffiti artist was called Train. And it was like, is at it? the end of the game, he was King Train. It might have been. Yeah. Him. Maybe. It might know. have been. I'd have to get him back in now and ask him that. Ask him that question. Ask him that question. I didn't watch the interview, but I'd say he's an interesting bloke. <laughs> yeah, he's all right, like, <laughs> Jesus. Um, but listen, Jordan. Yes. Despite the fact that you want to come in here and talk about everybody in Ireland, you have been actually <laughs> away yes. pretty much since our last interview, more or less, isn't it? Yeah, I was uh, away for, I was in Berlin for the last year doing my thing. You know, I don't just, did, did that just go through the table? Listen. Oh, okay, yeah. Come on. I don't just talk <laughs> shit. I do things as well. Yeah. <laughs> do stuff. Uh, fucking, yeah, basically, <clears throat> I was in Berlin the last year. I was recording the EP, doing all the cool fucking shows and shit. Uh, you know what I mean? Supported uh, a lot of dope acts and shit like that. Yeah. Yeah, some people from the ASAP mob. Fucking, uh, Jesus. Yeah, I uh, had a little conversation with ASAP Ferg at one stage. I was kind of cool. Fucking, yeah? Yeah, didn't say much. I was very drunk. But um, <laughs> it yeah, was, it was. Uh, I'm pretty sure he just wanted this little white boy to shut the fuck up at one stage. But, oh you know, Jesus! Whatever, bro. You know what I mean? Like, and then uh, a few hours later, then I was. Uh, no, actually, no. It was a few hours beforehand. I was on stage. We were on the stage like before him. Yeah. Little pump and fucking uh, done the XXX <laughs> Tentation tribute show or whatever the fuck. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Fucking <clears throat> that was major though. That was fucking insane. Yeah. I mean, the boys got up there like because uh, some fella needed a DJ. So fucking my mate ran around looking for a DJ for hours. We found our man at Don Alfonso. We legged it up on stage. There was me and like 20 other boys, a bunch of Irish lads up on the stage at some German festival on the main stage. Gone yeah. mad. 
you know what I mean? Fucking throwing bottles of vodka in the crowd and all, fucking going mad. Stage diving the whole lot, like just screaming at the fucking crowd. Yeah. Starting shit, all that. And then uh, Shirty were like, you're a danger to the fucking crowd. I had to drag me off stage after like the second song. And fucking, then fucking, I was like arguing with them, being like, <laughs> talking a lot of shit. Like, I made this happen. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm talking all that bullshit. And uh, then they were like fucking, yeah. Then uh, my mate was rolling the fucking joint up on the stage. Security started trying to fuck him up. Ran over me, mate Tommy put one of them in a show call. They were all trying to bait Pablo around. They all left me alone. I was started trying to run. One of them grabbed me from behind. So I was just like, oh, fuck, what do I do? So I just threw a few gang signs at the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking uh, yeah, the boys fucked, uh, fucked up the security. Listen, the paddies are going abroad and making a show. like and Oh, man, yeah. Acting crazy. I'm telling you, bro, fucking hell. Like, I had, had this other fucking festival where I just got way too fucked up, man. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I ended up pissing on the stage. Pissing on the stage? <laughs> yeah, man. Fucking the voice said that I'd done it, but I don't know. I woke up in the car park. Don't ask me too much about it. Yeah. No fucking oh shit. Jesus. <laughs> fucking, yeah. Um, yeah, and then, yeah, basically just been going to loads of festivals, doing a lot of crazy shit. You know, for uh, a rapper, yeah, like a hip hop man, yeah, you live like a rock star, bro. That's what I like. I fucking I enjoy. I enjoy. Uh, I enjoy doing stupid shit, basically. Yeah, <laughs> I fucking love doing really retarded stuff. But um, <coughs> you were out there, evidently living this rock star life. But now you've come back with a project. Come back with a project, yeah. I, I missed. I missed Galway. I missed the friends. You know what I mean? Wanted to come back. You know, back to Crack Shack, living its good times. Yeah. I'm happy with it. Fucking, I uh, have a project coming out. We're going to start releasing mid fucking July. Mid July. Yeah. I think it's mid July. Is that what I said to you? Mid July? Yeah. I said that to you. Yeah. That's what I want stage, maybe. That is what you said. Okay, yeah, mid July. Cool. Because my brain's fucking farting all over the place. <coughs> but uh, yeah, mid July <coughs> is when we're going to release the first video. Two yeah. weeks later, second video. Two weeks later, third video. And then we're on to the EP. We have a lot of backers for this project. SoundCloud is on our side. Spotify is on our side. The motherfuckers love J. Will. Fuck him. Shit. You know the way you're saying this now, like? Yeah. You have to make it come true. Yeah, I know, yeah. I You'll know, be yeah. held accountable for everything you're saying here. Yeah, yeah. Everything I just said there wasn't true. Like, just fucking... It's, it's just going to come out and we're going to see what happens. <laughs> 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 but um, I know that there's an interesting, like, theme... To the yeah, yeah, like, I kind of changed it up a bit from last year. Last yeah. year it was, uh, what was it? It was supposed to be like coming up and then coming down off a drug. It's kind of along the same thing in a way, uh, you know, because like over the last year we scrapped like three different DPs. Like it's, yeah, you know I mean, uh, we've gone through a lot of music because <clears throat> the style has changed. Now we're finally done, we're happy with what it is. But basically, uh, the whole concept now is like getting into that whole game of taking drugs and. Sessioning and partying, and then you know, at the start, it starts off very hype and happy and having a good time, and then it slowly yeah. gets more grungy and then it gets more sad. So it's like, you know, what I mean, I don't know, like maybe when you're taking bleeding MDMA or something, and you start coming down, you start getting mushy and feeling weird, and then you start getting sad when you come down, like, yeah. So it's still a concept EP, though. Oh, it's still a yeah, it's still a concept 100%, but like, fucking, <clears throat> you know, trying to fucking recreate the feeling of coming up and then coming down off a drug was a fucking retarded idea <laughs> I don't think so it sounds like an amazing oh it sounds like artistic it sounds like a really artistic amazing journey and all this shit but who the fuck knows how to do that like you know what I mean like, and how much of this is art if you don't mind me asking and how much of this is autobiography um all of it's both all of it's both. Yeah, it's uh, like it's. I, I came up with my own kind of style behind it because everyone's been doing their fucking, you know, like all of the, everyone's copying fucking Drake or someone like that. You know, what I mean, everyone's yeah. everyone's biting someone else's style. I'm just after kind of coming up with my own one. Uh, fucking, I'd like to call it bipolar raps. Yeah, like fucking. Uh, basically, it's just like I have a situation in my life that is good, but it can be bad, and fucking. Basically, it's like the first verse is always rapping about what's good or maybe what's bad in it, and the second verse is always contradicting that. Okay. So it's like it's like an argument with myself. Yeah. But like the mood of it goes from happy arguments to sad arguments pretty quickly. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Jeez. And then, have you? So obviously, you've showed it to your people, and what did they say about it? Uh, shout out to my people and they fucking love it yeah yeah. everyone thinks like, everyone that's heard it so far thinks it's fucking insane because that sounds very personal like it's almost extremely personal yeah but uh, I've done it in such a way where it's like I, I was sitting there about this time last year and I had I had like a full EP there but yeah it was fucking 
it wasn't as good like and I was trying to figure out because I was going to all these festivals and shit doing all this crazy shit and I was like listening to like watching all these cunts mosh pit at them I was like how the fuck do I understand like how do I get this to happen without yeah. fucking like because I, I want that shit as well I couldn't I couldn't I love trap for that like you know what I mean like even shitty trap I like mumble rap I don't give a fuck what nobody yeah. says it's fun but uh fucking gets the crowd going yeah exactly like I like it for the mosh pits and shit I wouldn't sit in my room and listen to it and cry you know what I mean yeah 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 because <laughs> you know who cries to Migos let's be honest like <laughs> We're fucking um Raindrops. <laughs> Reminds me of my dad. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, fucking I, w- I wanted to recreate the feeling of those songs while still t- staying true to the lyrical shit that I want to. Yeah. So basically I'm making a song that you can have a mosh pit to at a festival, but you can sit in your room and listen to it yeah. by yourself. Jesus. Yeah. That's that's uh, that's that's what I've been doing. Yeah. And you have videos. As yeah. well, you were telling me. We've got three videos. Uh, we're spo- we were actually, we we're supposed to have four videos. I'm kind of happy we don't now because it's yeah. only a six song EP. Having four videos would be a bit much. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was uh, basically one of the videos ended up not working out because uh, some guy fucked us. You know who you are, you piece of fucking shit. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking uh, some dude over in Cologne had a studio and uh, yeah, he was told like two or three weeks beforehand that we were going to shoot there. Yeah. And then uh, fucking, you know, he fucking dropped out last minute. I'm going to see you one day, you fucking cunt. But, uh, Listen, yeah. you need to be, we need to give you a Xanax or something before you come in here, right? <laughs> but, uh, no, no, only, only, only playing, you know, yeah. 50%. But uh, fucking, yeah, basically, um, done one of those videos. The other two is like, it's it's all kind of a concept. Luckily enough, we had another video that matches with it. Yeah. So it's, because uh, it's all on the same EP, so it's fair enough. First video is for a song called Just a Sip. And, uh, you know, the whole thing is just kind of, you know, this is just a sip, did it, did just it. a sip. You'll be fine. Take a trip to we design. It's a bottle for your heart. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, fucking. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean. The whole concept of the song is pretty obvious. Like from what you've heard there, it's uh, it's all about you know just fucking kind of saying to myself, ah, just take a drink, fuck it, it's grand. And then is there a kind of is there a certain market or a certain demographic or a certain area that you want to kind of develop a face a fan base in? Ah, uh, like a certain like country like a, or no, not even. Well, yeah, I suppose a certain country or country or. I, well, I do want to hit America, of course. Yeah. America's definitely the, the market you want to hit. But uh, I suppose for, like, fan-based people, like I, like, I want to go for it. Like, I want to be able to try hit, like, little Pump fans. Well, maybe not little Pump fans. I want to maybe, like, you know, like, little Skies fans and J. Cole fans yeah. at the same time. You get no, I like that. I like that. But um, as well, like, seeing as you've come home now, mm. are you kind of trying to reconnect with your fan base here? Uh, kind of. Like, kind of like I've noticed even since I've been home, my followers have been going up and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, fucking like yeah. I've been I've been, <clears throat> but like you know what I mean? There's not much to reconnect with, man. Like when it comes down to it, like it's 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 an old fan base from you know old music that I don't make anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't make the same kind of like I'm not rapping about the fucking government, man. Yeah. <laughs> not anymore. Anyway, I was 15, thought that I was deep. Yeah. But, uh, fucking this just just isn't how it is anymore. Like you know what I mean? I've, I've Changed as an artist, so I'm not going to try to reconnect with some people who aren't going to like the music. That's fair enough. Yeah, I, I think I think those people um, are kind of invested in you as a person, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Do you know I what I mean? So it's yeah, it's it's uh, like I'm I'm a pretty marketable guy when it comes to fucking yeah doing stupid shit. Well, you're definitely not shy, like you really, <laughs> yeah. you you know how to get a crowd's attention. <laughs> oh, trust me, yeah. You know what I mean? ADHD, baby. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, yeah, for real, like even even with performances and shit, like you know, what I mean, I've had a few people be like, "Yo, calm down," <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? You're like fucking like I'll be in like some club and there be like ten people there and I'm like kicking over a fucking table or something. And yeah, fucking, like, just gone mad, trying to start mosh pits and shit. Yeah, like you know what I mean. And it's worked though. It's worked a lot. Like when you have a decent crowd and you walk out into the crowd and join the mosh pit with them, like you know what I mean. They love nothing more than that. Like that's true. That gets the crowd going, man. That's, like that's the best feeling in the world. That's the only reason to do this shit. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like the only reason I started rapping was because I wanted to perform and I wanted to stage. Dive and I wanted to fucking have fucking mosh pits and shit. Have you got a romantic observation of what that feeling is like? Uh, no, because I know what that feeling is like because I've done it. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. It was when I was standing up at that fucking uh, up at that XXX Tentation tribute or Tentation yeah. or whatever the fuck however you say his fucking name. R.I.P. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. I used to love him. By the way, that dude was my favorite rapper. But uh, or one of them. But like I was standing there on the speaker and I see like people were like so squished up into the barricade. I was like, they can't move out of the way. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna fucking do this. And yeah, it, it felt very You're different. stage diving. Yeah, stage diving, yeah, yeah. 
Jesus. Fucking, yeah, yeah, man. I was standing on the speaker like I was fucking drunk as shit, man. Every t shirt off, I was just going crazy. And then, like, I was like, it was, uh, you know, that song, fucked up, fucked up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, once the bass comes in, it was like I was like drinking a fucking thing of whiskey, man. And then, like, it was once the bass came out, I just threw on the floor. I was just like, <laughs> fucking dived into the crowd. How does it feel to have, like, a hundred hands on you? Like, yeah, that many hands on you is a weird fucking feeling, bro. It's very strange, like, fucking. I don't know how to describe it, man. It's it's like it's like a sea of just hands. They're all just feeling. You. Well, you can't feel them individually, no. You can, yeah, you can. Like you can feel like this amount of hands on you. you know what I mean, some people grab you and all and shit like that. <laughs> and, like, yeah, like it's like a it's a weird feeling. It's not how I expected it to feel at all. Like, Does it feel like you're being felt up though? No. It feels like you're being felt up by way too many people. Like, <laughs> but it feels really good, like you know what I mean, like because you're yeah. like, like e- even though I know that they didn't catch me because they love me, <laughs> I was still like they cut because they love me. <laughs> <laughs> and do they kind of like? I always wonder, like, you know, you dive into this crowd, right, and they're holding you up. Like, where does that end? Like, do they push you to the? Do they push oh. you all the way to the back of the show? Or do they push you back forward or? I kind of like eventually you get dropped on your head then like, and if I don't know like I'm a pretty heavy dude so eventually I just, just kind of like I was like reached under me and just kind of like pushed around and then fucking they were just they just kind of let me down then like and then the security kind of helped me out yeah and, like uh, like he pulled me out of the thing I was like laughing and all having a good time I was like damn I just did that and yeah. fucking uh, got up on the stage then and then like two seconds later I had like three security dragging me off they were like you're a danger to the crowd <laughs> fucking you know what I mean this is what you're supposed to do like trying to kill your buzz like yeah you know what I mean fucking hell like and then you know obviously I had the 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 drunken I made this happen speech like fucking (laughs) if it weren't for me they would not be on that stage right now (laughs) 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 fucking bullshit (laughs) yeah yeah it was good times though man fucking beautiful lost in the good times hey lost in the good times 100% not lost in them anymore though boy (laughs) (laughs) you know where you are yeah I know where I'm at I'm in a very comfortable place in my life for the first time in a while, you know what I'm saying? No yeah. hard times, fucking just making music, fucking working hard. The hardest time I had was last night. I was on the phone to this fucking dude and I was trying to get my stems from my tracks back off him because he hadn't mixed and mastered them. Yeah. <clears throat> I was on the phone for three fucking hours, bro. Yeah. Just like going back and forth with calls, just organizing all the shit that I was telling you before, which I'm not going to get into. I'm sorry, boys. That's private stuff. But uh, fucking, <laughs> fucking uh, I was on the phone to this fucking fella. And he was acting, he was like, we were like, look, we don't want you to mix and master the track. And he was acting like a fucking, like, ex-girlfriend that, like, wouldn't accept that you're breaking up with her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he was he was sitting there, he was like, yeah, I was like, I think I'm just going to have to re-record them if you don't want to give us the stamps. And the fellow was sitting there, he was like, no, 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 please, no, I, I want to mix it. Uh, shut the fuck up, this is not fucking, this ain't a game. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just in a fucking relationship, like, you're still me mate and all, but go fuck yourself. Like, leave me alone and yeah. give me my fucking music. Like, let us do our work. I was sitting there for ages, man. It took like three hours of like just like being like, man, stop. Like, yeah, eventually now we have the tracks back and everything, so that's fine. But whew. thank God for that, yeah. I know because you know, like, I don't know, I don't know if you know much about this, but when you're making a project, you can't have two people mixing and mastering, you can't have you have to, it has to be one person mixing and mastering the whole thing. You couldn't have two producers, no, no, it's too much, too much of like a difference between tracks and shit, bro. Okay, you know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> like this fellow was like sending back a track. And it was the weirdest complaint I've ever had. I was like, man, it's too clean. It sounds too good. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? Like, my other producers made it sound all grungy and dirty and disgusting. Like, you know what I mean? But, like, that's what makes it sound good. Like, that, like, X is old kind of sound. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, he came back with this, like, clean, polished, like, the radio would, like, yeah, yeah, listen yeah. to this and be like, holy shit, that sounds fucking good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I was like, I was like, I'm sorry, but it's just not what we're looking for. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> weirdest complaint I've ever had in my life. You're too good, like, you've done your job too well. Yeah, that was literally what we were saying to him. And he, he was, that like, was the thing about those Triple H and Tassi and, do you know, like, the original ones? Like, I, yeah, I met yeah. the devil in Miami and those, that kind of. Yeah, he was using a snowball with. mic, a little 60 euro microphone. But like. they were so, like, Amateur ish. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, man, you, you could tell from the YouTube beats and everything. Like, I've used loads of those beats, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I was looking at that, like, millions of views on these fucking beats, and I was like, he's the last cunt that will ever get this. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, the last cunt that'll get millions of views, like, from just, like, kind of mixtape kind of feel. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was basically making mixtapes, like. And they were only, like, two minutes long then, every time as well. Yeah, he was, I mean, he, was ch- he changed the game for a little while. Like, two and, and a half minutes was a pretty acceptable time for a song. Like Fair play to him. And then you'd have to play it again then, because it was too short. Like, you'd play it twice. Yeah, for real. But, man, I, I fucking, I used to have, oh, I loved his fucking music, man. Yeah, like, I'm it was so different, like. 
Oh, for real, man. I fucking loved his shit. Like, it was like I, I wasn't like a big fan of the whole like uh, like Moonlight kind of songs and shit. <coughs> there, they weren't mine. But yeah, when he when he like whenever that dude was spitting a verse, it was always like you know what I mean the, the first fucking bar. I was like, you put a gun on my man's, I put a hole in your pants. Hey, <laughs> once I heard that, I was just like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, yeah, I like this fella. You know what I mean? Interesting fact for you. Mm-hmm. Um, X Tentacion's mother is Jamaican. Oh, get me. So so I'm, cl- I'm claiming that. that one for the team. You get me? Bumble clat. It's a blood clat. Oh, yeah, deal with mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. You'd be happy with that one. one fucking, what's it's her name? His name was fucking Ja, wasn't it? Or J- J- Jasse? Was it? His name was Jasse or something. I never knew that. Yeah, Jasse. Jasse on for you. Like, um, did you ever watch that No Jumper interview with him? Mm hmm. Yeah, and he's talking to his he's young dagger dick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm young dagger dick. Yeah. Uh, he's, yeah, he was hilarious, man. The fella, like, he was saying that he was up on Pornhub and all in that interview. Boy. What do you mean, boy? <laughs> <laughs> That's a mad thing to say. Yeah, yeah. No, I, no, but the one, about the story about them being in prison, him and Slim, uh, yeah, ski, ski mask. mask. Yeah, 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 yeah. And there's some... Crazy. There's a homosexual young fella in there, and they beat the life out of him because they think that he's coming to touch him up. Ah, no, your man was like... Like, like, like whoa, whoa, like, you get this sense that like, kids are like... <laughs> I know, yeah, no, apparently he tried to, like, fucking, like, he was trying to, like, grab his dick and shit and fucking, but, like, back then he was, like, X was fucking mad, you know what I mean? Like, fucking... Yeah. This this be, like, this be, like, any of those 16-year-old young fellas you see around trying to prove themselves. Tapped. Even the ones that are 18 now, you know yourself, they used to be little pussies, and now they're running around... Yeah. ...stabbing people the whole lot. Uh, fair play to your lads, you know what I mean? Woo, you did good. Yeah. Like, fucking... I, I know, I know some bloke, he's, like, he's... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to go too deep into that. Yeah. But yeah, no, like I was watching um, an interview with Vlad and Adam22 from No Jumper, right? Mm-hmm. And they're kind of talking about these interviews and how they're not artists themselves, but like they are the ones documenting like these huge moments. Like that, yeah. um, that Triple X Tassian interview is like, it's just so full of like this guy with so much energy and yeah. so like childish and he's just what he's amazingly talented at the same time and then to watch that back like two three years later and the guy's dead yeah it's fucking insane you know? like but if that interview had never um because the interview in a way is almost more of an insight than the songs it's yeah it's it, like, it's it, it is important to have that with like all artists i think you know, yeah like, like interviews stuff like that like stuff like this because you know then people can look into who you are and connect yeah. to you instead of just having music to back up on you know the way I mean obviously I'm, I am i didn't get an interview with Triple X and Tassian right but like <laughs> the the hope would be that you know if you could capture a moment like that that's just so huge and means so much to so many people like yeah oh man it's the, like that 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 interview was huge, like yeah, and like that, I think that was his first interview as well. Like, do you know what I mean? I think so too. I think it was like it was it was back when No Jumper was just like a room with a bunch of fire. Yeah, and yeah. Shit, you know what I mean? Adam Twenty Two was hardly even able to handle the young fella. Like, oh stop, man! He was just laughing. Like, do you know what I mean? He just sat there like, what? <laughs> like, this is too much. Yeah, he's sitting there. He's like, girls call me Young Dagger Dick because my dick's fatter at the end. I know how that feels, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> my man. I hope, not that I hope any. I hope nothing happens to you, Jordan. You get me, but. You get me? If any, if anything does happen to you and people want to know what you're like, then you this is the place. Me, no, 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 just say it like no, 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 Anything no. for the views. <laughs> 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 I'll get shot live on camera for the 091 show. But uh, no, hey. serious though, fucking, uh, who knows, you know, I don't know. Fucking, I could do some stupid shit and get shot one day. I don't fucking know. But like at the end of the day, I don't think it's going to happen. So it's good. I don't think, I think you'll be all right too. I yeah, think you'll yeah. make it like. If it ever does, you'll be, you know, you'll have the interviews there to yeah. to let people know. Well, thanks for that. Who Jay Willie was, you know what it is. Yeah. But uh, give, it, give it another year or two, bro. You know what I mean? I'm going to be sitting backstage fucking, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sniffing lands and licking tits. Jesus. <laughs> So the first time you came around, you said, can I swear? You're so nice and reserved, like, that's all gone out the window now, isn't it? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. I didn't know if you were going to get fucked up if I swore, like, you know what I mean? Now, now, I'm, now I talk my smack. Oh, I know I can. <laughs> um, Jordan, you're very kind of globally minded, as opposed to like a lot of people and myself included kind of have this habit of only thinking inside the country or only thinking of Ireland and the UK kind of a thing. Yeah. And that's a very, that I guess now that that's a product of your having like been in Germany 
and being away so much and coming home and all of this. Yeah. But let's say if you were offered the a stage at Longitude or whatever, would you take it? Um, I kind of have to think about that for some reason. Uh, yeah. I probably would, yeah. Probably. Yeah. Like, you know, why not? Okay. Well, like, like thing is though, like, um, <clears throat> I don't, I don't like, um, for, for any, any artist listening to this, it's important. Put a price on yourself. You know what I mean? Like, if long as you would offer you a stage, that's all well and good. Like, but if you don't put a price on yourself, even if you spend more money getting to that venue and you're only getting 50 quid, it's just like having that in yourself to know oh, I made money off this. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's, if, if long as you would offered me to play, but it was only free, you know what I mean? I don't think I'd take it. Yeah. And that's, it's not even because I'm like, oh, I deserve this money or whatever. It's just, it is just a pride thing at this stage. I've been rapping for eight fucking years now. You know what I mean? Like yeah. My, my talent is, you know what I mean? It's it's worth more than, you know, it's worth more than being paid an exposure, which everyone tries to fucking do to you. A yeah. show doesn't do fucking shit for you. A show doesn't do fucking anything. It's not like it was in the 80s. You don't play a show and everybody remembers you when you go home. Everyone's drunk. They don't remember shit. Yeah. That's the only thing I can say. Like, <clears throat> if you, like, if you don't get paid for a show, there's basically no point in you doing it. Unless you're starting out and you do want to like get your name up, it is a good way to get your name up, bits and pieces. Yeah. But one show doesn't make a fucking difference. Okay. But it would serve as a kind of achievement, as you'd say, like this is the yeah. this is the wrong that I'm on, this is the class that I'm in. Like oh I'm playing at Longitude? Yeah. Uh well not even long look, any festival. Yeah, well, you know, I've played at festivals in Germany, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I fucking, I've toured Germany. I've already done enough. Uh, like, I'm not looking to have bragging rights for nothing. You know That's I mean? fair enough. Yeah, but I, the only thing I want is for people to understand what my self-worth is when it comes to me as an artist. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> if you can't meet that criteria, motherfucker, then, uh, yeah, then I'm not going to fucking play a show for you. Yeah. You know what I mean? You need, you need to, you know, understand that this is my profession. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're a professional. No, I get that. Like, but, um, so now that I've got you on a deep level, yeah, <laughs> is there, um, you know, as Jordan Wilson is a brand, mm -hmm. have you ever thought about what message that that brand brings? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, live your life positively. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Yeah. Don't fucking... Don't let them get you down, boy. <laughs> <Look at that. laughs> like, Always I'm, I'm look down. on the bright side. Yeah, the right. <laughs> <laughs> well, like say, sample that now, hey. Yeah, I'm, uh, hey. If, uh, if I ever make like I make like a little trappy over that, but yeah, look, you know what I mean. I do, I do all of my crazy shit. I do my own stuff. That's only because I enjoy doing that myself. You know, yeah. you don't have to be me. Fucking, you know, I will be. You know, at some in the next two or three years, I'm going to be at a stage where I need to calm down and stop doing all this stupid stuff. Yeah. And that's fair enough. You know what I mean? It comes to that stage for everyone. But uh, for Listen, now... Give it five years' time, right? We'll be on 091 Show, episode 320, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And be like, we'll, we'll be old then. Yeah, yeah. I'll be talking about me fucking wife and kids and all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, fucking take a look at Tyler, the creator, and Earl Sweatshirt. They're only 25 now. Jeez, are they? Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like, they like do you hear Tyler, the creator's new tape? Uh, Igor, isn't it? Yeah. I didn't listen to it. You didn't listen to it? No. It's good. It's very... Different, isn't it? I've it's heard. very different, yeah. It's, but it sounds kind of like... But there's a... Pro, that you can hear the progression from even, we'll say, Bastard and Goblin. Mm. Okay. And and to be fair, okay, this is how much I liked it. I liked it enough to like Tyler, the Creator again. I wasn't too gone on Cherry Blossom. Uh, I, I didn't really, yeah, Cherry, Cherry Bomb or whatever, Cherry Bomb. Cherry, yeah, Cherry Bomb. Uh, cherry Blossom. Uh, yeah, cherry, Cherry Bomb and Flower Boy and all that shit. Like, Flower Boy was just like fucking, he was just sitting there, he was just like fucking, I'm sad and I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the truth of it though. Yeah, he was, that was all he was. He was just like Eminem and that fucking other album. The, the yeah. Record, or no, I forget what it was fucking called, it wasn't Recovery. It was that fucking one where he had that Walk on Water song with Beyonce. Oh, Jesus. And he was literally just like, I'm rich, but I'm depressed. <laughs> A couple Blanikins dropping a thing of a Blanikin. <laughs> <laughs> Harrison Ford with the floorboards. Grabbing <laughs> a Porsche in the floorboards. Well, you divorced and Harrison Ford at the same time. <laughs> Having a divorce and an abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, yeah, like, like uh, yeah, but like, uh, I don't know, I'll check it out actually when I, like, you know, when I get the fuck out of here. Yeah. But I'll check it out then. Cool, but uh, like, I, I, just, I just haven't given it a chance yet because I was, I was actually kind of just thrown off by the last few albums he had, like. Yeah. I preferred when he was 
an edgy little fucking. He was edgy, to ed- be fair. Edgy as fuck. Like yeah, that yeah. goblin. Like there's there's tracks on that that are just instrumental. It's like, is there? Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. AU seventy nine, I think is called. AU seventy nine. What kind of fucking name is that? Where, where I the always think AK forty seven. AK forty seven. I never like I I never actually listened to the whole tape thinking about it now to be honest with you. Yeah. Like uh, but like I remember being a big fan of them in the way that like I've probably listened oh, switch to Oh, sweatshirt has changed a lot too. Oh, his style is it's kind of a dreadhead now and that's his thing. Yeah, he's a dreadhead now. He's but his style is weird now. It's strange. It's very Did you listen to any of those new songs he has out? Probably heard them in passing. But yeah. The pictures are kind of like the picture that's on top of it is kind of like one of the pictures they would have used back in the like edgy OF days, but then the songs are like these weird but like real like kind of beautiful instrumentals like this one it was a real weird beautiful instrumental that was real like fucking I just didn't know what the fuck was going on like and he was like rapping off beat like but yeah I don't know it was weird like I've never heard anything like it in my I mean, life it's interesting how these people grow and change it's insane like when I say Earl has changed the most like he's just like yeah. acid rap now like yeah and I mean like confused and acid rap like I don't know what the fuck is going on kind of trip you know what yeah. I mean like it's it's weird, but it's good. It's good. Like I mean, it's dope. I mean, um, as we talk about growing and changing, I'm gonna bring it home for a second. Yeah, <laughs> I just wanted to let the people know that, like, see when Jordan came in for episode two, mm-hmm. that time life was so different. Like, cause we'd had the radio show, and we were doing bits, and it was a bit like we kind of felt like it wasn't going anywhere. I feel you. And then. I decided I had this vision in my head that I'm going to interview people. I get them in and all of this, and but we didn't know anybody, and we definitely didn't know how to shoot a show. Like we had, <laughs> we had an iPhone, we had an iPhone and one camera. And now we've two DSLRs. Like I know was that what it was. Yeah, was yeah, yeah. Was. That was the setup. Like man, I and was that, fucking. I was in a different place yeah. then. I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, I shit. <laughs> but even like, even like, I like to thank you for giving us that opportunity at the time because it really did do a lot for us hey thank you you know what i mean you you brought me here that's my first interview properly you know what i mean yeah like, i've only done online interviews like shit where i'm typing out answers oh shit you know what yeah I mean? like i've never done like a proper interview before I'm yeah not, like this is you know what i mean and we sat and i mean and now i think as we're all irish like we are, all struggle with this humility thing humility yeah, like we like it's difficult for us to accept that we are like sick. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Not for me, man. And then, and then you're always like, um, kind of taking steps and steps and steps and steps, and kind of running away from the realization that you are like a credible mm, source. Uh, well, like, I'm just talking from my experience, isn't it? So like, I feel you, yeah. Like, I definitely, so I think it's interesting now to get you back in. Yeah. And we sat here, and it's like, oh, this is the 091 show. Like, yeah, this is but, the 091 show. Yeah, do you, you know what I mean? You've been out with kneecap, you spoke to Shotty Horror, <laughs> you you've done so much shit in the last year. Do you know what I mean? Oh, uh, Jesus. You've done loads of shit, so fair balls to you. Like, you know what I mean? Like, last year, like, if, if you really think about it, like, you know what I mean? Last year, there was like a, on that second episode, there was a starting out radio, fucking, there's starting out radio show that didn't really know what they were doing, and yeah. a drugged out rapper that wasn't making songs. <laughs> <laughs> That was basically what it was. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, now we're looking at, like, uh, you know, a year in radio show that knows what's yeah. going on and the uh, kind of drugged out rapper that just finished an EP and is <laughs> doing loads of cool shit. Yeah. So, you know what I mean? Like, we've both grown. It's about a year, I think. It is a year. Yeah. It is a year. I'm Madness. pretty sh- fucking sure, anyway. Yeah, it is a year. It feels like 10, though. Fuck me, yeah. The last year has been a long one for some reason. I don't know why. A lot of shit's happened. <laughs> Oof, like, man, I was living in some fucking crazy crack shacks. Yeah. Yeah, like, fucking... I was living in this building, bro. It was, like, the whole building. It was, it was like... Let me think. It was eight floors, and, like, the floors... It was wide-ass floors, too. There was about, like, 20 rooms on each side. Yeah. Fucking, like, the whole building was just a fucking crack shack, man. It was... I, like, I loved it. I loved it. it was, like, yeah. I, was, I had my crew there and all. Like, I had loads of Irish people living there and shit as well. Like, yeah. I was only paying 60 euro a month on me rent, you know what I mean? <clears throat> Jeez. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, you get what you're paying for, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you walk into the toilet, there's, like, blood and shit on the walls. <sighs> fucking, like... Like, look at the toilets. It's just like Dublin bus, man. You have to check the toilets before you sit down. Like Dublin bus, you know. <laughs> it's like a, a Dublin bus that doesn't Listen, move. no more, no more rows with rappers. Now we're rapping, we're starting rows with companies. Dublin bus. Yeah, Dublin did. Yeah. Du- well, no, Dublin bus is all right. Bus Aaron's the problem. Bus you Aaron's think, bad. I like bus Aaron. I, I prefer CityLink now myself. Uh, of course, CityLink and uh, GoBus are cool. 
they're, they're Inroad there and like, do you know, is the ideal, but you'd have to pay a lot for that, you know. Ideal boy. But uh fucking <laughs> <laughs> But uh now you look fucking bus area, man, they're cunts, you know what I mean? City Link, drop you down, bachelor's walk, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Connor Street there. City Link will let you out anywhere, like they'll let you like they'll go through Parma's Town on the way back to Dublin, they'll let you out in Parma's Town, no problem, once the lights are on. You know what I mean? That's it. So sound. What more would you want, like? Fucking bus airing, man. You know what I mean? It's like you're late. They're like, fuck off. <laughs> In fact, I remember editing your first interview on a bus coming through Knock. Oh, <laughs> no way. So sometimes when I play it, like I can vision like the church and Knock and this, like. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what was what was up actually? The fucking uh, what was it? I was either in England or I was either coming back from England or Jamaica or flew into Knock. Ah, then. okay, yeah. And what was it? Was, you had to you had to edit like that whole series before you released anything, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, fucking hell. I, I always do that. I said it took a fucking while though, man. Did and I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, well, of course. Like, what were you ever editing before? Like, no. <laughs> Everything I know is from this show. See, man, yeah, that's the thing, bro. Like, editing fucking... audio and video and filming and. Interviewing and talking and networking, all of this from the show. All of us from the show. Like, like, I'm, I'm a journalism student as well, though. Like, so yeah, you yeah, get me. Yeah. But like, I genuinely learned more from this show. Like, than... Man, I wouldn't know. I wouldn't know any of the friends that I have now. Like every single person that I call a friend right now, wouldn't know a single one of them if I didn't rap. So it's the same shit with Josh. Yeah, you know definitely. I mean? If I if I never rapped, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. I'd be yeah. probably sitting in a cell in Dublin or something. <laughs> <laughs> and he says it like it's his fact. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm probably done, man. What yeah. else to be doing? <laughs> you know, Jordan, we like to um, we like positive and encouraging vibes on the 091 show, right? Of course. So, have you got something non-political, positive, and edgy to say for the camera? Ah, uh, I hear that. That's too many boxes to tick and just come up with on the on the spot. Just say something. <laughs> just say something to these aspiring guys, like. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so <laughs> spiking like a bitch. Right, so lads, fuck it. <laughs> Sorry about the spikes here. Right, so uh, yeah, anybody who's starting to rap now, you know what I mean. Um, if you're starting young like I was, uh, don't go taking loads of drugs and forgetting what you're doing. Keep your priorities in order. Fucking make sure that you're not afraid to leave the country. Ireland is not the only place that you make it. I think most. that's that's important to know as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's very important to know. If if if. If you want to make your fucking music, man, you don't have to do it here. You know what I mean? Take a look. So many of the boys from Dublin are getting out of the country, and it's it's a good idea because, like, you know, like, if you get big in Ireland, you can get stuck in a box. We've all seen it happen. You know what mm. I mean? We've all seen it happen. And uh, fucking, yeah, just don't forget what you're doing. Make sure that the music's real, at least to you in any way, and uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> I think we're just going to leave it at that. Yeah. Thank you, Jordan. Thanks for having me, my man. For coming down and talking to us today. Keep it real, boys. And thanks for the people at home for sitting and listening to this madman, right? <clears throat> Listen, lost in the good times. Lost in the good times. We're starting release uh, mid-July, so fucking... Yeah, get on top of it. EP is going to be coming out about two months later, six weeks later, something like that. It's going to be the best EP you ever fucking hear. And this shit's going to blow up because uh, we have a lot of people backing us right now, so... <laughs> Oh nine one. Oh nine one. <laughs> <laughs>